Welcome to Kids Worship this Sunday. We are so excited that you have joined us and we have some really fun and exciting songs to sing with you. We're going to move our bodies, think about God, and wonder what he's calling us to do. And while we're talking about him calling us to do something, we're going to get started with our call to worship. And we do this every week, but I'm just going to remind you, it's a special, special time where we focus our hearts, minds, bodies, and souls on what God is calling us in to do. And what's he calling us in to do this morning? To worship him. So to do that, my very dear friend, and you guys know him for sure, is Pastor Scott. He is gonna come and do our call to worship. So let's focus our hearts, minds, bodies, and souls and hear what he has to say. Hey kids, it's Pastor Scott again from Old Hickory Boulevard, Christ Presbyterian Church. And I get to read the call to worship to you again this week, like I also did recently in another kids' worship. But this time, our call to worship is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Let's worship our risen Savior. All right, we're going to do our catechism questions. Remember, catechisms are just questions and answers all about God and what we believe about him. We're going to do start with question number 42. And it says, how is the word of God to be read and heard? And the answer is with diligence, you rub your hands together, preparation and prayer so that we might accept it with faith. We've done faith before with our finger and then put our hands together and practice it in our lives. You know, we've been learning all in missional living about loving our neighbor. And that's exactly what this catechism is saying, that in God's word, we should be living out what he's saying in our lives and loving our neighbor all around us. Let's sing the song together. to God and we can tell him anything and that's why the answer says we're pouring out our hearts because we can say anything we want to God in prayer. Let's sing. What is prayer?
Good job. Way to go. Hey, friends. Hey, it's good to see you today. We are going to do a verse that you know for sure by now. I know you do. So we're going to dive right into it because we've been doing it for the past two weeks. We're on our third week of our Missional Living Series, and you've been doing that along with us too, I hope. And so it's Matthew 22, verses 37 through 39. So yes, it is three verses, but they're short and they go together and it's easy. So here we go. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22 verses 37 to 39. Okay, I thought a good way to do it today would be to do it very slowly like a turtle. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Matthew 22, 37 to 39. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There you go. Good morning, kids. It is time to start our worship time. And to kick us off, we're going to do a hymn, which Ooh. is one of my favorites. We might have just learned it in the last mini series. And it's called All Creatures of Our God and King. So it might be new. If you don't know it, just follow along and it'll be great. Let's get going. <laughs>
worshiping with a hymn we learned way earlier in the year called Nothing But the Blood, where it talks about how Jesus has covered all of our sins. All of them? All of them, Jordan. Not just like some, but all of oh, them. Oh my word. You continue to shock me with this information. <laughs> Jesus has covered all of our sins when he died Whoa. on the cross for us. Should we sing? Let's sing it. Let's do it.
like we do every single week with our doxology, with the motions, and our hope is that when we go back, and when you guys are all back in church together, you can do these motions when we sing the doxology all together in big church. So get practicing and do them with me today. we're going to wrap up today with a benediction and really a benediction is just a good word for you from God's word and it's to be a blessing spoken over you and for you to remember and take with you today it's going to be called go and rest keep watch dear Lord with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep tend the sick Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. And that's from Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ready? Mm-hmm. Two. Good. Me. Okay. Okay. Mm-mm.